Jay Wright in his eighth season as head coach at Villanova can win his 300th game as a coach tonight. His starting lineup will feature Scotty Reynolds and Reggie Redding in the backcourt. Dwayne Anderson, Dante Cunningham, and Shane Clark up front. And for the Pitt Panthers, LeVance Fields, Jermaine Dixon are the guards. And up front, Sam Young, DeWan Blair, and Tyrell Biggs. And the head coach in his sixth season as the head coach at Pitt, Jamie Dixon. First time Pitt has been in the Elite Eight under Jamie Dixon. The officiating crew tonight, Tom O'Neill, Pat Driscoll, and Randy McCall. That seems appropriate. They have three Irishmen in Boston, doesn't it? <laughs> well, they won't get in trouble. Tonight's game is brought to you in HDTV by Harris Corporation, the world leader in broadcast systems for high-definition television and mobile media. First time they met, January 28th. It was the last game at the Spectrum in Philadelphia. Villanova won that one by 10. Both teams have changed considerably since that one. And Vern Lundquist, Villanova goes. And they will have some wrinkles, a lot of doubling. Scotty Reynolds picks up LeVance Field. Here's Dixon guarded by Redding. Now Sam Young. Oh, nice Drives move. the lane. Yes. Wow. What an effort. Here comes Reynolds for the Wildcats. There's Blair with a hedge. So important to keep Blair out of foul trouble if you're a Pitt fan. He picked up two early ones in that last meeting. And Redding with the quick jack there. And a big thing with Blair, what they do on offense, Villanova, they got to move him around a little bit. Make him work. He's going to have to chase Cunningham. He calls for it in the low post. LeVance Fields has it instead. Here's Dixon has not had a good offensive tournament so far. And that drought continues. You know, an ominous sign now. Twice Pitt has been able to get in the lane. They haven't finished. But Villanova does a nice job pinching generally. Two blow buys and nobody at home. Now Reynolds. In the corner, Scotty Reynolds pull up jumper for three. Nice rebound. Young and Anderson battle for it. Hill ball. Possession arrow, Villanova. And one thing about Scotty Reynolds, he's unabashed. I mean, if he misses a few, he's still going to jack him up. Plays very positively. And, of course, he's got that green light from Jay Wright. Had 16 points in the weekend win over Duke. Still not there. That was Reynolds from the corner. He's 0 for 2. Here's LeVance Fields. Nice screen from Blair. Little pick and roll. Fields probes up. They missed three in a row. Twice getting to the rim. You can't call that a screen, though, but it's Blair. <laughs> Roadblock is more like it. And that big white body, he nails people. Nice kick. Cunningham. Both teams cold. And that's one of their favorite plays to get Cunningham a look. And you notice Blair was nowhere near him. Young with a rebound for Pitt. Now here's Blair. Drives the lane up and under. Boy, nice use of the baseline. You can see that wingspan warding off with the rim. And no attention to detail in the interior D by Villanova. You got to help. Well, not to not to jump all over this point, but Dewan Blair picked up two quick fouls in that first game on January 28th. Sat for much of the first half, picked up two more, and he played only 23 minutes and only 11 in that first half. But Jumper. He knows uh, he's very effective around the rim, Clark. If he can step out and knock that shot, what a compliment to others from deep. You're around 33%. Only Shane Clark's 13th made three of the year. Here's Blair. Too deep. Nice. Surrounded. Oh, take oh, that. Out a full tackle. Yeah, that's one of those. They're not going to call intentional, nor should they. But there was no way. He didn't want to run back. He was going to make sure that with that wide body, he might help the Steelers at some point in his career. Uh, but this is what you have to do collectively. Dig and scratch, rake, help. Your big defender, in this case, Cunningham. Can you channel Sam Clancy all of a sudden? Isn't that amazing? Yeah. Very similar. <laughs> Sam was leaner, believe it or not, I think, if I recall correctly. And uh, as you noted before, you can see that graphic, 23. He's got to stay on the floor. Gilbert Brown's on now. Here's Reynolds. Drives the baseline, comes back outside, guarded by Dixon. 
And they don't go inside now that Blair is, a, is out of the game. Nice drag dribble. They should get something easy. Look at this nice ball. pass. Nope. Young with a rebound off Fisher's miss. And that was all set up by the drag dribble by Cunningham. So Blair goes to the bench in the first three minutes. Here's Fields trying to break down Fisher. Fisher, sixth man of the year in the Big East. And he does a great job getting into the lane on offense. Nice compliment to Reynolds. Young overplayed by Redding. Jumper, no. But he can rebound for a little guy. It's about three a game. Reynolds, pump fake. He's going to shoot three. Smart, huh? Well, he gets you to bite. But that's the push of the ball down the floor. The two-point guard mentality that Villanova possesses. Jay's got guys that have a great feel to give it up at the right time. And Reynolds just understands offense. Yeah, Scotty Reynolds at the line, an outstanding free throw shooter. 81% he will shoot three in an earlier game in overtime against Seton Hall. He scored 40. He was 15 of 16 from the line. And they're going to check and see if it was a three, if I'm not mistaken. You know, the fast pace, sometimes officials don't get a good angle. The correct thing to do. Both have started aggressively, but unfortunately haven't been able to finish. Yes. And especially around the rim for, mm -hmm. for Pitt. Particularly. So Tom O'Neill is the lead official. He's going to see if indeed this was an attempted three. See where that right foot is. I think he was behind it, if I'm not I mistaken. Too. That's a guess. They're going to see it clearly. They're going to say three. Yep. There's so many weapons that Villanova has on the perimeter. But you know what strikes me with both these teams? Dean Smith used to recruit guys that people say, gee, I don't know if he can play it kind of like the role player. Guys that fit, make you a team. And I think both these guys have captured that uh, with their lineups. Now Scotty Reynolds. Well, he sustained a, a, what turned out to be a mild injury the other night. Yeah, the hand on a follow-through. That'll teach you, Scotty, for playing defense, you know. <laughs> Challenging it up with the big guys. He's got the glove on. He's not Peyton on defense, but uh, a pretty good defender. And, and by the way, Dean Smith did have some pretty good players besides an occasional role player. I might yeah, I mean, I've heard that. Is Jordan a role player? <laughs> Billy well, Cunningham or Wolf. No, <laughs> well, I'm you, not going down that path. Well, you get guys to compliment those guys. I understand that. Three for three for Scotty Reynolds. And Villanova up by four in the early going. And what they do on free throws and occasionally on makes, they do this three-quarter defense. Now, Pitt did turn it over in their first game on a couple of trips against that three-quarter press. They're back straight up man. And 17 turnovers in that game. There's Fields. Nice help. Gilbert Brown puts it on the floor. Oh, well, they got a foul. I think they've got Anderson underneath there. He's the guy that forced the baseline. It's interesting, when we were young, which is quite a while ago, uh, you never could get a, let a guy go baseline. But what a lot of coaches teach is to force him deeper so he's under the glass and get some support under there. And Villanova does a great job in that area. Here's Brown at the line, sophomore out of Harrisburg, Pennsylvania. On with Tyrell Biggs, Sam Young, Dixon, and Fields. Dewan Blair picked up his first foul a minute ago. Six three. Corey Fisher. Remember the ability to penetrate now by Fisher and Reynolds. Jumper Cunningham. Yeah, he has perfected that shot. Well, it's it? great because with the pinch poster, he can drag his big up. Big's a little uncomfortable playing him there. A terrific little dish by Fisher as well. And Villanova's up by five. There's a little double. Big to the high screen. Slipped by Fisher. And the quick hands of Reggie Redding. Oh. How about safe. the block underneath? Whew. Here come the Wildcats. Scotty Reynolds drives the lane, puts up the shot. Now, how many guys would have the hitters to take that kind of a runner? But that's the confidence that Jay gives his players. I thought we were going to get an early onion. Oh, no, 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 no. We saved those for late in the game. 
terrific penetration, and that's the problem I think Pitt's going to have all during the game. Keep the guards away from the rim, away from the lane. If they don't finish on their own burn, they get it to someone else. Dewan Blair went to the bench with his first foul, 17-37 to go in the first half. Uh, Jamie does a good job keeping him in the game, but the inability to finish has been the problem. You see Young gets to the rim, LeVance Fields gets to the rim, and that's why they're in a little bit of a hole. They've done a nice job, and now you're feeling a little tightness and maybe a little bit pumped up as well. They've got to calm down. Maybe after the timeout, they will. So Blair sets for a couple of minutes. He's back on the floor now with Fields, with Gilbert Brown, Sam Young and Ashton, uh, or rather Brad Wanamaker. Wanamaker has not had a terribly effective offensive tournament. Here's Young, look at the help, and a little kiss on the runner. You know, Wanamaker played well in their last encounter, though, so you might see right. him provide a lift. He can step up and make shots, can drive as well. And look who he's guarding. He's got some inches on Reynolds, which should take away the jumper. This is Reggie Redding. Gets it outside for three, Fisher. Blair, rebound. It's nice hands by it. He stops, and they got somebody at the rim, too. Look at this play. Ready, slapped away by Wanamaker. You've got to feel that if you're ready. you got to get it over and protect it. Boy, a heads-up play, making yourself bigger in the press, deflection, an open look. And how about Young? They're a little restless, but the kiss is refreshing. Big East with a 16-3 overall tournament record. UConn winning earlier tonight. There is a chance of three Big East teams in Detroit in the Final Four. Last time that happened, John Thompson was the head coach of the Georgetown Hoyas and the opponent in the championship game led by Roley Massimino. One of the most memorable games in college basketball history. And St. John's was the third team in the Final Four. Unbelievable. Roley came with more suits than Jay Wright for this weekend. <laughs> uh, of course, John, I made both of those guys instant successes, I assure you. 10-5. Jay Wright was saying Roley Massimino was coaching Scotty Reynolds in, in the lobby. You're not getting enough arch on your shot. <laughs> Uh, and they get a nice arch here. Shane Clark twice now able to step away and drill it because of excellent ball movement. Shane Clark is a defensive expert, and he's got six early points in this one. An eight-point lead. I think they got to use the big fella down on the block on occasion. They use the screen, and usually he locks. Now he drifts it away. Good defensive job by Cunningham. There's that bump fake, though. Boy, he's something. Mm -hmm. yeah. He's got strength, too, and elevation. Beautiful timing by San Fernando. Wanamaker on Reynolds. Here's Clark. No, good wow. job by Blair reaching around and knocking it loose. Sure was. They should have got to the other hand. Not a good entry. First Villanova turnover of the ball game. Yeah, Cunningham, such a great defender. Look how he splits the basket for number 33 in blue. He'll lead Blair to the box. He's always looking to help his teammates. Right down in the back there, underneath the rim. Look at the help. They yes. do a great job doubling. There's Fields. Brown. Foul. Right. And he's going to go to the line. He's going to get two. Watch exclusive. Got to go to the golf voice here. Watch exclusive video of <laughs> Amen Corner Live. Plus 15 and 16 live and. Bonus coverage to the entire field with Masters Extra at cbsportscom slash Masters Live and Masters.com. You read that so beautifully. Tomorrow I won't put anything in the collection. <laughs> <laughs> that won't be the first. <laughs> no, you're absolutely right. <laughs> you know, interesting with this doubling by Villanova, the one thing that jumps out, you, you can drive because they're rotating, trying to help, and you've got them rushing out. And a great read by Brown. Brown using all of the rim to get the second one to drop. Under 13 to play first half. Reggie Redding. No, no. Got a break here. Yes, and Cunningham makes takes advantage of it. Dante Cunningham, one of three senior starters for this Wildcat team. This Villanova team was in the Elite Eight 
and lost to Florida. Florida eventually won the national championship that year. Whoops, travel. Uh, good call. Good call. Initially, the hands got in there. The Villanova defense has been extraordinary now. Spacing is beautiful. Looking to assist, whereas earlier in the game, uh, they were just not at home. That Elite Eight uh, appearance was back in 2006 in Minneapolis. Villanova defeated Boston College and then lost to Florida ultimately. Already Kick makes... out? Yes. Clark, can it be? Well, Reddick's made great decisions, but Clark, we know, guards. He comes up with offensive rebounds, loose balls, but on fire, <laughs> drilling them from deep. Shane Clark averaging five per game. And it's a double-digit lead. Eleven fifty-eight to go, first half. Shane Clark. Against Duke, Shane Clark fouled out, seven points. Tonight, Torrid on offense. Well, you notice from the box out, he steps into jump shots. He's great on kickout threes, but this is all great execution. Originally cutting in with the kickout, and their ability to dribble and get into cracks forces the pinch, and he can get in position to dominate. He has been extraordinary. Their shots along the main line with that performance. How about that? Early on. Gilbert Brown will inbound. Fields, Blair, Brown, Wanamaker. And those Clark is he's got play. Here's the ball screen, the run out. He's very lucky, but Fields with a fine. How yeah, about this? Sure was. He can wrap around and find Gilbert. people. Can be devastating once he turns the corner. All started out by the big fella, and they go 2-3 zone, and they did this before uh, in the earlier game simply because you, it's tough to contain this Villanova team on dribble drive. They should continue to get into cracks and kick. Well, and if you followed Pitt through this tournament, this is not unfamiliar territory. Oh, look at this. Uh, the pass. turnover. Pitt fell to East Tennessee State. They were behind at the half. They struggled against Oklahoma State. The other night, they were down by eight against Xavier. And the reason they got back is plays like that by LeVance yeah. Fields. I mean, great penetration, and uh, Jamie knows uh, he doesn't recognize the D right now. They're not belly on belly, containing, they're not as physical. They just can't keep up right now with the Cats. Scott Reynolds is back on the floor guarding Fields. This is Gilbert Brown. Nice. And short with a shot. Everything but. Yeah. They're going man and now on the miss. Blair can't get back. Cunningham. Great hustle by the big guy, though. He couldn't get to him. You're right, Vern, but he got to the rim. Sam Young also got over to help defensively. Here's Fields. Hides behind Blair, and that's easy to do. <laughs> Wanamaker. You call it an obstructed view. <laughs> How about this guy? Uh, he just loads up, manufactures the post. You don't pay extra for that view. Young has six. The difference is six. And on that make, they go zone. Yes. Nice ball. Five. Reggie Redding. Yes. I'll tell you, that, that's where they're tough. A great feel for the game. They, they think, the staff, that he's the guy that knows the game the best, that does so many good things on both ends of the floor, Redding. Redding, all-time leading scorer at St. Joe's Prep, but known more as a defensive specialist for this team. Jay Wright telling us, no, 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 he can really score. And so can that guy. He can't, you can't give him that open left or right. Young with a miss, 20-12. to 12. Into the corner for Redding. Young has him now. And, and you notice how Cunningham keeps Blair away now. He can't jam things up because it takes a little energy away from the big guy. In the low post. Now he can beat him with the dribble, or look at that face-up jumper. Put back. Shane Clark, no. However, Anderson is fouled. Bergard, I don't recognize Pitt in the interior defense. They are not rebounding to complement their defense. Check out the plays we're considering for Pontiac game-changing performance in the tournament. And while there, enter each week for a chance to win a trip for four to this year's Final Four only at Pontiac.com slash NCAA.
but Anderson gets six rebounds a game in perfect position there. But they all shoot so well, the advantage generally is to them on the offensive rebounding. Villanova with a five rebound edge now in the early going, 11 to six. Dixon's back on. Anderson, one of those three senior starters, Dwayne Anderson, Dante Cunningham, and Shane Clark. Yeah, the little doesn't mind who they match up with. I mean, they have bigs on guards. Look at that. He gets his own miss. He's trapped on the baseline, and a foul call. Yeah, a little belly rub there. I'm sure if that's Anderson down there in the front. They read situations in a gorgeous fashion, Villanova. It's a perfect trap, but don't you love this explosive maneuver? Again, unable to finish, but they did that early in the game. The perseverance to come up with the offensive rebound. Non-shooting foul, that's only the third. Here's Dixon, Levance Fields for three. Seen that act before. Yeah, you sure have great ball movement. Dixon with the extra look. That's unusual. Fields with a with a jumper for three midway through the first. He yeah, usually saves it for crunch time. <laughs> You're right. Not at the end of the game. Tough shot. And there's the quick hand of Dixon. Well, they've really, it's, it's going to stay Villanova. They said it was deflected. Uh, but they've got Pitt running all over the floor. I mean, their reaction defensively, all caused by good ball movement or the dribble drive. May have had a phone accident down there. Accidental collision with the uh, <laughs> Fields is going to get a rest now. Corey Stokes is on. Uh, Pitt's got to feel very fortunate to only be down by seven. Right? You know, they've had opportunities to narrow it and haven't been able to, but they've got to toughen it up on this end. Steps out. A little ISO. Uh, Jay Wright can't believe it, but that's what he wanted. He wanted to see if Blair could contain Cunningham. Most improved player in the Big East. Boy, that's saying a lot with the year they've had. Sure is. Now this is Ashton Gibbs, number 12. The man's field's getting a rest. And Gibbs a guy that can really run a double right away. He's, he warms up quickly. The toaster off the screen, tries to give it back. Save. And then Young. Nice move. Knows how to score. Yep. Timeout, Villanova. Five-point margin. We're back in Boston. LeBron James never played in the NCAA tournament, but he's created a new kind of madness in the NBA. You'll see it on 60 Minutes tomorrow. I saw that uh, little underheaded shot with Steve Croft. That was. Oh, did you? Oh. I, I don't think they faked that one. No. And right now you can see the spread. Wow, that was a long one. And Cunningham. There's Cunningham. Well, he had been outside. Now he gets a clean look as Blair does not want to go that far out after him. Fisher. Stripped, but out of bounds. Touch last by Pitt. And boy, Jamie is really mad at his guys. They're not rebounding. They're not paying attention to detail. Redding will inbound. Eight minutes to go. Nice play by Blair. Not a good one by Fisher. Hold on. Watch it. Oh, oh. Take the baseline. Take the tuba with you. Well, they need some spark, and it's usually their defense that begins it. This is not a sprint in the Olympics, but the big fella scoops up the bowling ball. Just get out of the way. We don't have a hospital nearby. Whew. We're in Boston, a berth in the final four in the offing here. 22-19, Villanova did have a 10-point lead. Rebounding edge, big edge, surprising for the Wildcats at 13 to seven. Well, you know, if you're pit, you're looking for something to spark you, and it's usually their defense, and trying to split, this is not a good split. You can see it. I just love the effort by Blair defensively. Now he gets to the free throw line. Big time play by a big time performer. And a free throw out of the commercial. Oh. Two point game. Reynolds and Redding, Anderson, Cunningham, and Stokes on the floor for the Wildcats. Now when Cunningham lifts, they're going to have to be able to get something inside. Look at this post up. They're going to challenge the big guy. 
Over Blair, got that back. That's what makes him so tough. Inside out, tough combo, and confident. Back to a four-point margin. Blair does not want to foul, particularly in this half. So nice lob, huh? He's way underneath, and he does draw a foul. Let's see if it's Cunningham. It might be. Yes. And a nice look uh, by Wanamaker. And just the understanding of the distance. How you set him up with the head and shoulder. And a beautiful jump hook. And Blair will not ride you out, particularly that he does not want to get number two. Shoots two. Well, he's using all of the rim, isn't he? Soft, though. Yeah, he's very he's soft. You know, you think he's indestructible. And yesterday, as you recall, he was talking about his legs. You know, he got banged a few times in the tournament, and they were one leg was swollen yesterday. Well, you know, it's tough to tell whether it's swollen or not. <laughs> it's the size of my waist. <laughs> he had a collision with Byron Eton of Oklahoma State. Both players went down and were down for a bit. Fortunately, they both got back in. One of two, that trip for Blair. Here's Clark, he's hit three three-pointers already. Blair's out on him. Scotty Reynolds feels with a rebound. Here's Dixon for Pitt. Clark, the guy with some length. That's his game, Gibbs. Blair tipped it, tried to tip it to himself. Stokes has it. Instead for Villanova, up by three. Fields, little cheapy. A little nickel dimer, but that's what they're calling. You put the two hands in, you're going to get it. A nice penetration. That's what's improved with Stokes. Well, we mentioned that injury. It was a it was a tough collision to even watch. This was against Oklahoma State in Dayton last week. Eton, Eton with a shoulder bruise, and then Blair with a knee injury. He jumped up, you remember that? But he told us later, and eh, that was a little bit of an act. I'll tell you what, he pressed Eton's legs. I'm not sure they're not the same size when he landed on him. He is just a big guy. Reynolds, no, wow. there is a foul. Oh, Scotty, no. he got whacked, though. Yes. You're right. He's looking at Jay. Jay saying, I don't have the whistle. I'd give it to you. They get it back. And this is where they're tough, I think, finding people, maybe not finishing around the rim. Scotty's got to locate somebody. No bounce this time. <laughs> That's going to be a backcourt foul on well, Shane Clark. He had a piece of it for a while. And then Blair smiled and said, you've got no shot getting ripping it from me. Well, these kids compete, know one another. Well, they know each other. You know, I mean, not only just the uh, Big East, but there's many kids from Philly on the on the on the uh, pit team as there are on the Villanova team. And of course AAU with yeah. high school, they've all competed against one another. Villanova likes to keep a foot in the in the painted area and always be available for assistance from the weak side. Fields, who's not a Philly kid. Here's Dixon. Nope. Nice Blair, time. nice job. Gibbs. Oh, he got drop travel. Okay. Yep. I, I, it could have been either way. I thought they pulled a jump in. Interesting how offensive rebound gives you an opportunity to do some damage. Tom O'Neill calls a traveling call, and I agree with it. I don't know what's wrong with that. That's a first. 5.47 to go. And they know the ability to shoot outside. They, Get right up on Stokes force to deep jack by Anderson. That's five rebounds for Dewan Blair. Fields kicks it back out to Biggs. Here's Dixon back to Biggs. And they know he can shoot it, so they're hugging him. Redding was out close. Here's oh boy. Dish in the corner. There's the extra pass. Dixon and the quick hands of Anderson. Put it on the floor. You have one. Reynolds. No, Redding. Yes. And that's why you run the floor. And Jamie Dixon unhappy with his guys because not enough white shirts down. Villanova on the push. And then the counter punch at the end. All right, listen up. Are you as mad as a drink with real Coke taste and zero calorie calories? Prove it. Upload your videos at tastethemadness.com and get mad famous. 
And I think Penn has gotten a little bit mad. They've had a lot of better offensive opportunities, but occasionally the laps getting back are not rebounding. And Blair gets a little bit of a blow. And this is what Jamie does very well with Blair. He does not want to get him that other one, see if they can maintain contact, play your way into the second half, although you may see him back. Rebounding edge still belongs to Villanova, 18-11. That's a direct contrast to what uh, Pitt has accomplished this season. They're almost a double-digit rebounding edge in each game. Oh, my. Dixon out. Out. And it should be Fisher. Yes. Boy, it's interesting. That slap back gives Young a great look. God, coaches are teaching that now. But Mansfield's hand off, and you get an open look. How about this elevation, huh? And that's your shooting guard, and you can see the little bump at the end. Uh, Jermaine Dixon's brother, Juan, who plays for the Wizards, was here. For the Thursday night game, his other brother, his oldest brother, Phil, who played Division Three basketball at Shenandoah, is in the stands tonight. And I think you know the the story of the family. Uh, his aunt Sheila is the mayor of Baltimore, and Juan Dixon really helped him out early this season. Well, it was it was after a game against Georgetown. He liked the way he shot. He brought him into the Wizards practice area, and what better guy to teach you how to make that jump shot than his brother? He's had a great run January on. Scotty Reynolds, 435 to go first half. Villanova was up by as many as 10. This is Young. Tough Reynolds. Shot. He's oh. something else. I mean, he discarded legally. And then that fade back. I mean, he is such a confident offensive performer and weapon. They had a wide open middle, hang it underneath, spread a little bit. Field Clark inside. How about Stokes getting up in the air? You know, that whole trip was Clark and then the ensuing rebound because he took away Young and then checked him out as well. Foul is on Sam Young. Four to go, first half. Reynolds. Well, they committed too early. This kid's tough, though. And they get a charge at the end. Wow. I thought a little too deep. Ooh. Sam Young took the charge, but this was the fadeaway prior to that. See why millions of fans call the Big Bang Theory the funniest comedy on TV. Don't miss a new episode Monday on CBS, America's most watched network. Watch this segue. Speaking of big bangs, how about what's going on on rebounding edge? Uh, very impressive, obviously. You know, Pitt's been doing a great job. Season plus 9-7. How about that? And Villanova actually on the offensive glass has been terrific, Burn. Nine offensive rebounds to Pitt's three. And Pitt is known as the best offensive rebounding team in college basketball. And uh, they're getting banged around. Nice. Nice. How about that preparation? Uh, Isn't that gorgeous? And who made the assist? They didn't get the goal. It would have been a potential assist was Blair. And they had made some mistakes in the prior game, but get it right to the center here. And it turn and attack. It's just a little tardy and yeah. late with that pass. You know, a good receiver would have turned it into a touchdown. Sam Young gets the first of two, and the margin is four. Sam's really an interesting young guy to talk to, isn't he? I mean, beside the music and the poetry, and he was talking to you about his music taste. Yes. Ball. Well, he, he, he's uh, the only guy we've seen on this pit team that uh, is listening to music during the warm-up, so being a connoisseur of modern music, I said, <laughs> He said it's the go-go, go-go music. He said you wouldn't understand. No, no, he did. He did say that, and he said, actually, if you're not from the Washington D.C. area, you wouldn't know about this band. Mm -hmm. So I've made it a point of emphasis now that uh, I'm going to inquire. I like to put those earplugs in when we have our production meeting with Monza. You know, <laughs> nice pen. This is what he's done back. You know he can shoot Stokes, but now he has stepped it up. He has grown as an offensive player. Huh? A little blow by and a kiss to boot. And a five-point game, 3.15 to go. Here's LeVance Fields. Nice. Young, there's the help defense. Boy, he got there in a hurry. Look at all Shane the Clark. Shane Clark took an elbow to the nose. 
He really paid a price on that one. I'll tell you, that's great collective defense by the Cats. Under three. And Young. That's one of those, if it goes, you say okay. Already, a little bit of a quick check. They, they don't want you to turn the corner. No, the Lubbs at their best, they pinch and support. We saw them against Duke. They were just outstanding defensively. Incredible. In that ball game against the Blue Devils the other night. Uh, just a little late, Clark, and it cost him. He wasn't in a deny position, didn't his whole, do his homework early, and Blair showed his quick feet to the box. Blair has eight, five rebounds. Well, oh, that's a little small change. Coming up on AT&T at the half, Greg Gumbel, Greg Anthony, and Seth Davis. We'll recap the West Regional Final. UConn won that, and they'll talk with Oklahoma head coach Jeff Capel and Blake Griffin, plus an AT&T Naismith watch update. That's all coming up on AT&T at the half. And you just see a little late denial by Clark. They took advantage, slipped it in, and Blair able to dominate. Terrific look. Jermaine Dixon goes to the bench. Back outside. Stokes pump fake. Gilbert Brown defending. 2.09 to go before the break in a three-point game. Reynolds, short, Blair with his sixth rebound. And he did a good job with his chest, not fouling, but throwing Reynolds off. A chance for the tie if Fields hits this one. It's his tie, right, when it tightens up. The general lead his troops. Now, if you're, if you're Villanova, you know Cunningham's got the two. Not a good foul by Blair. No. You know, I, I don't know why the show is that far from the basket. Ooh, he's smiling, but... Jamie Dixon's not. not. Not at all. And LeVance feels if you hide on him or go under, he makes you pay. Big shot, LeVance. And just, I don't, you know, it's not really a good play, sticking that big leg out. And coaches teach to go out and attack that the hedge leg the high leg right here now, as he comes in here you can see that leg i thought dixon initially was upset with blair but he's upset with the official oh no i think he was with the official right away oh do you okay uh, he, he didn't think that he really stuck the leg out enough to warrant a foul reynolds shoots one more so blair on the bench with his second foul it comes with a minute 40 to go in the first half. He picked up his first 90 seconds into the game. Fields and Reynolds. They pick very comfortable using clock to get what they want. And they're in a little dilemma getting organized right now. Biggs pops out to set the screen. Fields drives, puts it up. Put back, no. Rebound, Redding for Villanova. Villanova had six hands on the ball. That's rebounding. Reynolds. And the whole foul Clark. in the back by Shane Clark. They had a run out, and Clark actually may have saved the basket, you know, with that foul. Villanova foul, number 20, Shane Clark. Shane Clark's second foul. That is the 10th team foul, so double bonus now. And Brown will shoot two. And both coaches trying to save with the two fouls, different players, Cunningham, Blair, and now Clark. I think he may be coming out now. Antonio Pena is going to come on and replace Shane Clark. Clark, three threes in the early going tonight. That helped propel Villanova to a 10-point lead. Tied again, 62 seconds to go before the break. A lot of uh, small guys on the floor now. So you might have an opportunity to drive if you're Villanova, particularly with an open middle. You watch your footwork. Yep, Redding. Anderson, a settle. Saved by Redding. Saying he was out on the line, yes. Boy, Pitt has really clamped it up just a little bit. Tightened it up, challenging shots better. Villanova really not attacking right now, Vern. 
They led Tennessee State by three points at the half in the first game. Tied with Oklahoma State. They were down to Xavier by eight. So this has not been an atypical pit performance in the NCAA tournament this year. Now this is usually a young touch off the penetration and a high ball screen late. If you're Villanova, you're thinking rebound and certainly helping on the drive. Their only lead was 2-0. About a second and a half differential shot clock, game clock. Fields. You got to stay at home on Young. And they oh, do. Thank God. How, good that? How good is that? Wow. Boy, that is great execution by Fields. And that pump fake once again, Vern. It's a pretty good tumbling move by yeah, Dwayne Anderson. Anderson. Look at this. Everybody bites. Amazing. Fortunately, nobody hurt. Yeah, he did go head over heels. We've seen a few of those in this league this year. The beaten Blair come to mind. Yes. Blaine Griffin got one in the first round against Morgan State. Blake Griffin, I beg your pardon. Too many games. And, and how about Johnny Flynn trying to pick up a charge on Blake Griffin? It reminded yeah, me of Blair yeah. earlier in the game. I mean, right, that is punishment. First lead for Pitt since they were up 2 0. The pump fake from Young is just extraordinary. He just uh, he overpowers people, doesn't he? Uh, just gets everybody upticked. You got to tighten your shorts and your shirt or you could get embarrassed. Has there ever been a triple double with pump fakes as one of the stats? <laughs> he's probably had one. Young has 12. Well, we mentioned he's a diversified, very interesting young man. And he did do a backflip the other night when they won uh, here. Uh, he had to do it quickly because the other teams were coming out on the floor. And Vern Cunningham on the floor. Look for them to throw to half court and then turn. Uh, I've seen that pass before. Yeah, I think you have. You 17 it. years ago tonight in the spectrum. Then it was Grant Hill to Christian Leitner, and it meant a little bit more mm -hmm. with 2.1 seconds to go. That's the end of the first half. We'll send you to Greg Gumbel with AT&T at the half after this message. And a word from your local station. Sam Young will inbound. LeVance Fields also on the floor. Tyrell Biggs, Dewan Blair, and Dixon. And for Villanova, same starting five. Reynolds, here's Dixon. Redding, entry pass to Juan Blair. Back to Dixon. Redding out defensively. Clean block. A nice play by Villanova. That's their collective defense. Cunningham went all the way over. It should go Villanova's way, if I'm not mistaken. And Dixon uh, still down. You know what's interesting on that play? Well, let's see if he's okay, Vern. Ooh. Must have taken a hit once the ball went on the deck. Tony Salisi, longtime trainer, out. Jamie Dixon comes out as well. Oh. Played well, at Tallahassee Community College last year, and he will go to the locker room. So Wanamaker is out replacing Dixon now and trailing Scotty Reynolds. And, uh, he's got the size to guard Scotty. So Scotty's going to have to break him down and maybe get in the lane and find people. Scotty's a big second half player. Jumper Anderson off the rim. Blair with a rebound. That's seven rebounds for Dewan Blair tonight. Of course, averaging a double-double. 12 rebounds per game. Young. Yes. Wow. How about that? And Anderson not ready. You got to be ready on the catch with Young. Interesting enough, Cunningham playing bigs at the other end. Sam Young has 15. James Clark hit three threes, a perfect three of three. In the first half, he misses that one. Fields, Wanamaker. And no follow of the shot. He was coming back defensively, so Redding picks it up for Villanova. Largest lead of the game for Pitt. And both teams doing the same. They're hiding Blair on Clark, and Biggs has Cunningham. Jumper baseline in and back through. Boy, that is so dangerous. And the line of defense has to go down and take away that baseline pass. Not a good reaction by Pitt. Quick hands of Cunningham out on Biggs. You don't want him to get a foul that deep on the floor, though. And look at the big fellow with but he was just salivating. Yeah. He's got Clark on him. Now he comes out and oh what a screen he set. And he's got about maybe 100 pounds on him, too. Wanamaker in the lane, Redding. <laughs> nice defensive job. 
And a nice shot ready protecting two with the strong arm of Blair over there. Still able to come up with it. An all out effort because so much at stake right now. You're going to see some aggressive playing. Guys getting on the floor a little bit, helping the officials on occasion as well. Uh, Villanova, the national champions in 1985. Pitt making a, uh, an Elite Eight appearance for the first time since 1974. But there were only 25 teams in the tournament then. That year, the winner, North Carolina State, and there's a foul on Biggs. Well, pretty good read by Biggs, huh? And, of course, they did get to the Final Four, did Pitt. Mm -hmm. 1941, the last Final Four team, there were only eight teams. That was really a showcase for mm -hmm. basketball, the first NCAA championship in 39, so that was the third year. Did you have a good seat at that game? I called it. <laughs> well, I'll take that line before you present it to me. <laughs> Oh, goodness. I, what did you think of Big's play there? I interrupt your story, and I apologize. I, I thought he got the ball on that particular play. Great footwork, indeed. Little pressure applied now by Villanova. Hit up by one. And they back it off. Makes them use a little bit of clock, even if they don't get anything out of it. Pressure on fields. And this trip, it's Blair with Cunningham. Fields for three. Biggs grabs it. Nice hands. Ooh. Loses it, but a foul. I believe it's on Reynolds from the rear. Or anything loose, they're just pursuing it right now. Both clubs. It's on Redding. I thought it was on Reynolds as well. So Reggie Redding picks up the foul. That's his second. And the inbound play field. Boy, we've seen them run some great inbound plays great in this play. tournament. And that was a good one, but big short. Fisher, Wanamaker defensively. Redding. Biggs. Is this great? Oh, my goodness, the hustle's terrific. And Fisher just getting too deep. you got to make a decision quicker. Oh, Young was there, and he didn't see him. Wow, great hands here. And Fields wants the free throw. Wow, another one on Redding. The quick, that's number three. And that's another one Reynolds was in the mix as well. They've got the wrong guy, I think. They got the one, and they want to change it. And I think Jay's got a legitimate... They want to... Now they call it on Anderson. Okay, okay. No, wait a minute. We'll get it straightened out. Jumper Young in the meantime. And that's their play. That little double, and he gets free. They score at will on that particular play. Nice, uh, nice lean in by Reynolds. Oh, he's so tough. And this kid, he understands your body weight, distribution, ability to get to a lane. There was some discussion among the officials, and finally we've gotten it straightened out. The foul was not called to Redding. It was on Anderson. Very important. Mm -hmm. That would have been Redding's third. So uh, it took him a while. And they're discussing it again, the officials. Believe it or not, they, they may not be sure. That could be the, the point. And, and an update from the locker room. It was a groin strain for Dixon. And they're evaluating him. Don't know if he's going to be back. Now, we are going to check and see. Yeah. I against whom the foul should be charged. Now watch Anderson as well. There's a foul from the rear. And I think that's what they got. I think you're right, Anderson. Well. <laughs> the important thing is they got it right. Yeah, that's exactly. Yeah. And uh, it was on Anderson. So that sends Reynolds to the line. He's been perfect there tonight, five and five. One of those correctable errors and go the monitor for. Scotty Reynolds out of Herndon, Virginia. Pretty well documented story. He wanted to sign. His high school coach was a good friend of Kelvin Sampson's. Mm -hmm. So he agreed to uh, sign with Oklahoma. And then his senior year, Sampson elected to take the job at Indiana. Reynolds uh, decided not to go to Oklahoma and was available and Jay Wright recruited him out of Herndon, Virginia to come and he has made significant 
contributions to this Villanova team. He's just so positive and, and, and with such confidence. He's undeterred. Oh my, taking a hit. So knowledgeable. Young man who talked very freely at the press conference yesterday about the fact that he was adopted. He has found his birth mother in Alabama, but he has not yet contacted her. He said that's in the future. Mm -hmm. yeah, great pressure on the ball now. You got to loosen it with a screen or a dribble. Fields back to Young. Whoops. Saved it the wrong way. How about that pickup? Spot up for three. No travel. Up and under. He is so intelligent. First thing he did was back up to the three-point line. And then the little pump with the eyebrows. It gets to the rim and wards off with the 10. This is where Pitt is tough now. They're going to take the crowd out. It'll be solid on the approach. Blair's got to duck in and get on coming in. A little late ball screen. Eight on the shot clock. Here's Fields. In the corner, Wanamaker. Well, pretty good hands again. And that's an anticipation play. A good drive, smart, but... Whew. How about this? You may need a new shirt, but offer it up for Villanova. How about the pump? And Scotty, you come to stop him, uses the 10. Beautiful play. UConn gets to its third Final Four, their previous victories in the NCAA Championship, but both come from out of the West. All four number one seeds can make the Final Four. It's happened once before. That was a year ago. And North Carolina looking pretty impressive. Here's good news, at least in part. Jermaine mm -hmm. Dixon is back on the bench. Do not know if he's going to get back on the floor. And of course, you miss his great defense, his ability to stretch the D with that three-pointer and maybe put it on the floor as well. Wanamaker at the line, shooting two. Now, well, this is uh, not a great pit free-throw shooting team. 67.5. That's... Uh, Average, right? mm -hmm. and, and he's pretty good, you know, at 74. Yeah. One of those right. Guys. They do have nice subs, though. Uh, you mentioned Brown and Wanamaker to come in in placement of Dixon. And he looks like he's getting ready on the sideline. He's adjusting. Standing up now. Yes, he is. Here's Fisher. Ducks in. There's Wanamaker defending. Nice defense. Yes, it was. Blair's got to be careful. And Cunningham gets the basket. Well, that's what he does. Uh, he's improved. Putting it on the floor. They blocked his shot, but... So confident getting to the rim. Yeah, they, they use Blair on the nice side. How about that look by Brown? But that's what he does. He uses that dirty air, clears you out, and then moves it right to the 10. Jumper Fisher. Clark with a follow. Clark has 11 points. And he averages five per game. Now you never know in the tournament who's going to bite you, do you? Young to Brown. The inside screen to get Blair to the box. Double comes from Fisher. In the corner, Brown. Back outside, Wanamaker. A great rotation defensively. <laughs> Up fake. That time Cunningham didn't quite go for it and won. But I got to say, it shouldn't be a basket, but Cunningham should not have leaned on his guy. I think that was a, a tough continuation. Watch this pump. Now, Cunningham's got to leave him go. I, I, you know, it's, it's worth it. Wow. Ooh. That's a tough one. Wow, even in Boston Garden where the Celtics play, they didn't like the continuation. Yes. <laughs> this, of course, is the new garden and all the banners taken out. At the insistence of the NCAA, this is also not the parquet floor, obviously. NCAA by 16 courts, and uh, they put this one in on Tuesday. So this is an NCAA court. Third foul on Cunningham. Anderson also has three, so 
The attrition begins now for Villanova. Nice. A nice job. But he did very poor defense. The just yeah. let him set up low, and nobody came to help. Just bounced himself to that delivery. Gilbert Brown. Now Fisher out on fields. Biggs. And this is where Young can be a factor, I think. Closely guarded by Cunningham. Wanamaker. Brown. Biggs from the baseline. And that's his shot, too. Well, look at this terrific play by Young. He's the one that set it up. They're trying to check him out. The hustle play. Dipped it to Brown. Brown got the basket. Pip back on top by one. As advertised, huh? Mm-hmm. No one's going away in this one. Fisher, nice screen by Cunningham. He got hit, but the tough shot. Wow. You know, when you watch Jay Wright, they play, his kids play with such confidence. I mean, that to me was a questionable shot, but he feels they'll learn by doing it on their own, and this is just an aggressive play by Young. No Blair on the floor, keeps it alive, and Brown just cleans it up. And right here, this is one of those deals where, goodness, if it doesn't go, just go up strong, close out under control, and don't give him three. He is shooting two more. Jay Wright, of course, grew up in Philadelphia, wanted to play for Villanova, said he wasn't good enough. He played at Bucknell, actually was a captain his senior year, but as a starter, as a junior, was asked to come off the bench as a senior, and he said he has great empathy for the young kids, not only as scholarship players, but those who walk on. Does a terrific job of coordinating this team every year. And his coach there, Charlie Warren, did a great job with him, loved him. But he was a great contributor and learned a lot in terms of dealing with players because of his senior year. Nice trap. Fields. Villanova by two. And Pitt does not get in a hurry, though. You can rattle them a little bit. Young chases it down. Who got it? Who else? Oh, they got a timeout? Jamie Dixon call time. Wow. What a heads up play. Time call. We are back in Boston, a CBS News exclusive. President Barack Obama and his first Sunday morning interview since taking office will face the nation with Bob Schieffer. That's tomorrow. I would imagine, no matter his responsibilities tonight, that our new president is sneaking a peek at this game. I would guess. Uh, they got a kick when he played at Carolina against some of their kids. What a thrill for them as well. I think, in fact, I think he kept their shoe. They gave him a pair of shoes. That's right. Four ties, five lead changes. Largest lead for Pitt was five. Villanova had a 10-point margin, 22 to 12. In the first half, here's Blair. Uh, but great help, and I love what they called from the bench there. They got Blair fronting, they emptied the weak side, nobody there to help, and a terrific read by Villanova. Inbounds play, Fields. Set up for Young. They go Wanamaker, there's the help again. But they are tough with it. Hell ball. Pittsburgh. You think this is important? Oh. I mean, you see shirts on the floor. It's aggressive play. If you're not tough with the ball. They're going to strip you. Either team. And just a heads up play here. Dive. It's Young, Fields, Blair. There's that high screen. Nine on the shot clock. Blair wants it. He's being fronted by Fisher. And it's Young. Back outside. Tip. Anderson. Stokes, that's his game. He did not have a catch and shoot the first half, and Pitt, whether not paying attention to detail, did not react. Beautiful delivery, and they got it to him at the right time. Six unanswered for Villanova. Here's Blair. Nice strong move. And they, they, Villanova had tipped that as well. They've got to go to him. I don't know if you can contain him. Reynolds getting ready to come back on the floor for the Wildcats. Here's Fisher. Young to help. Got to play. Yes. And that's because of the drive by Fisher. That Anderson in perfect offensive position to deliver. 
Dwayne Anderson extends it back to five. Skip pass. Blair wants it. Not open. Well covered by Anderson. And Cunningham is looking back now. And he just relaxed Anderson. He's going to pay for it. He just turned his head and wasn't in position, Vern. Fisher for three. Well, is he playing loosey goosey, huh? Wow. Young with a rebound. And now get some others involved if you're Fisher. Wanamaker. Good call. Good non call, I should say. Takes it. Oh. Help. Up and under. Oh, yes. <laughs> Fortunatus at best. But I want to make her pretty good at getting between defenders. Wanamaker, Blair, Wanamaker. Mickey Grant, Wanamaker. Uh, the ability to do some damage and then maybe a little help. Divine intervention as well. The right bounce for Pitt. Villanova up by one. Notice that they are perfect at the free throw line, 14-14. And they still have an offensive rebound edge. For Pitt, uh, significant that Dewan Blair has the two fouls. He's perfect from the line, or from the uh, field, rather. Six of six and seven rebounds. You see how important it was in the first half not to get him that extra foul, rest him a little bit. Now they've established a low post game. Villanova started to counter a little with some weak side help. And offensively, Villanova's done a great job with the drive. You got an offensive tip out of it, a kickback. Look at this again. Redding. Oh, yeah. Are they going to wipe it out? They're going to say Cunningham touched it while it was on the cylinder. Oof. You want to agree or disagree? Uh, I, I, I did not think it was the correct call. Let's just see where his hand. Uh, he got a piece of the when it's in, on top of the cylinder. Uh. Hand on the rim, no basket. Wow. Blair, nice dive. Young cutting. How about that look by Blair? Very efficient. One building block to the other stud. Sam Young has 22. Earlier in the tournament, he put this team on his back and scored 32. 23 in the first half against Oklahoma State. Now, you've got to guard. you got to play both ends for both of these teams. I mean, the Wanamaker now on Cunningham. Cunningham, bump fake Reynolds. Young defending. And again, a, oh, not a good one. Didn't have to. He had picked up the dribble. He can't score. A little bit frustrated, but the ability to dive at the correct time, the double, you make it. Acknowledgement. Five team fouls on Pitt, only four so far on Villanova. Well played game. Turnovers in single digits, seven for Villanova, eight for Pittsburgh. And the rebound, Wanamaker. Dixon is getting ready to reappear for Pittsburgh. So great news for the Panthers, their defensive gem. Here's Fields. Oh, wow. Defense. There's a swat. Two on two. Reynolds. Wanamaker. Tipped. Reynolds gets it. And a settle. Not a bad play. Nice look. How was that by Reddy? That Jay told us all week. He does some terrific things, finds people, makes the right delivery, and on time. Villanova back up by one. A little hand, a little nickel dimer, and that's not a good one by Cunningham. Wow. That's one of those that far from the basket, uh, but the ability to have vision and see over people and just a great look, and obviously the cut supports it. That is the fourth foul on Cunningham. And uh, what a cheapie, too, yes. that far from the rim. Four with 8.17 to go. Fifth team foul on Villanova. Ashton Gibbs fresh off the bench. How about that play? Well, Reynolds was there. Here's Brown. They look inside for Blair. And, and they got foul. Shane Clark. Yeah, he did. He, he just latched onto him. 
Got to be in position to deny. That's the third foul on Clark. You've got Cunningham on the bench with four. Scotty Reynolds has two. Two, yeah. yeah. The same play, this time for Dixon. That double screen from the foul line. Ball rotation, open man in the corner. No! That was Gibbs with a miss. And that's what he does best. They got him. Blair avoids the contact. Gets the rebound, or the loose ball. Now Gibbs. He's got Dixon in the right corner. Well, they got to use the bigs, I think. When they say the bigs, I mean Blair and Young. Here's Blair. Six of six from the line. Wow, another one. Number 20, Jane Clark, number four, correct? That's four on Clark. The attrition continues for Villanova. Time call. Now let's keep you current. Villanova with four timeouts remaining. They've committed seven fouls. They do have the possession arrow. Pittsburgh, two timeouts, five fouls, and foul difficulty now. Shane Clark, Dante Cunningham, both with four on the bench. Anderson has three. And no one for Pitt, more than two. Uh, that's a tough situation for Jay Wright right now. How to rotate people, paint it on the floor. He's got to contribute now. Anderson's got to play solid. Blair at the line, shoots one and one. He's two of three tonight. Villanova, by the way, perfect at the free throw line, 14 of 14. And he misses the front end of the one and one. Now the guards are going to have to step up right now, I think. They'll do some damage either. Quick check here, and it goes. How about Anderson? He can make those. Solid player. The ISO. He had the call. What decision to make? Wildcats by four. Nice help there by Fisher. They got to recover now. Here comes the rotation. Gibbs gets it back from Blair. Entry pass again, double down. Back outside to Wanamaker. Ten on the shot clock, Gibbs for three. <laughs> Redding with the rebound. Here's Reynolds for Villanova. Well, he is forceful, is he? You just stood up for a second. Heston paid for that. Uh, Gibbs thinking he wasn't going to blow by, but the little nickel dimer. Uh, just bringing the ball up and doing the right thing. Uh, just a step to the corner. Just a pretty play. You break your guy down. <clears throat> Nylon from deep. Two men, one side. Everybody overloading right. Six. Hit team fouls. Anderson off the dribble. Dixon has it. He's got Wanamaker right side. There's the Wanamaker feed, and Wanamaker will shoot a couple. And not too many open floor opportunities, and pick into the free throw line. I think maybe Fisher at the end giving it up. Only two. That's unusual. Mm -hmm. Right? We go over and edit them up. Two. Pena's back on the floor now for. Villanova, number zero. Wanamaker, Young, Fields, Dixon, and Blair for Pitt. And a berth in the final four. They want to join Connecticut. Louisville can become the third team. They play tomorrow night. Third team from the Big East, that is. And one advantage Villanova has is they've been able to drive against Pitt. And it takes away some of the physicality of the interior. Ooh, tough delivery, though. Fields, Dixon, Reynolds back. Oh, nice giveaway. Nice giveaway. Smart. Unfortunately, number three for Scotty Reynolds. So he joins the list. Smart play, though, on the open floor. Conversely, Fisher getting a little too deep. Everybody anticipating the shot. Kane is setting up for a rebound. Dixon over the season, 65%. He's perfect tonight. Two of two. One more for the tie.
Because Dixon playing hurt too, Vern. Uh, that groin injury earlier. He didn't look as there was any problems. He ran the floor, did Not it? at all. And look at this Blair. inside, and they get the foul as well. How about the foot speed? Now, you cover football. What a tackle he would be, right? Oh, or tight end or whatever you want. He can own the team with this body. He doesn't want to shave that beard the way he's playing of late. And just his, just his great strength sets him up here, too. And then the quickness. How about that? And just the discard. I mean, it's like a mosquito on your shoulder. <laughs> I like him as a nose tackle, I think. Anything he wants. Oh, boy. He's having problems with the free throw line. That was the 10th team foul. Blair, two of five at the line tonight. Villanova rebound. Stokes, Fisher. Young's got to concentrate, too. He can't help out as much because he's got Stokes in the corner. Redding, there's Blair. How about the body? Does he just pound people legally? Fields. Back to LeVance Fields. The one of them. Blair. Double comes from Fisher. Got it. And that's his baby. Short armed it the other night. That he got the proper trajectory, but you can't let him set up that low that easily. You got to get around on the top, and Jay Wright. Seizing this opportunity to work on the day. Dewan Blair with a little baby jump hook. Nothing baby about him. Monday on CSI Miami, it's the season's biggest story yet with an ending you'll never forget. A new CSI Miami Monday on CBS, America's most watched network. And they, got, oh, oh. and they got Blair, too. He almost got away with it. That's three on Dewan Blair. At that size, you don't get away with much. Don't you think? No. Uh, 16 points, 7 for 7, 9 rebounds. Vern, he is Blair. He's just been a load. And no offense. Seventh team foul, 1-1 one and one now for Villanova. They remain perfect at the line. Yeah, you got confidence in your upperclassmen that he can play these minutes without getting that foul problem. It'll be a key matchup for Cunningham as to who he guards. And don't foul away from the rim. Don't foul at all, but don't reach in and give a small change. Wildcats are 16 of 16 at the free throw line. They lead by one with five and a half to go. And a berth in the final four to be determined. That's tipped over and back, no over and back. And a nice job by Shane Clark doing early homework. A mismatch of sorts. Here's the show. They gotta recover. Blair, double, back outside to Young for three. How about oh, falling down. Wow. Terrific look. They got the rotation they wanted, the spot up, and a great kick out. Young has 25. Blair defending and Cunningham over Blair. Uh, he doesn't want to foul and just the timing and the patience of the senior Cunningham to deliver. They cross screen with Dixon and Cunningham just can't stay with him. For three. Look at this. Blair. Beautiful combination of size and power. Dewan Blair, eight of eight from the field tonight. He's got 18 points. Redding. Oh, an elbow. Offense. And Fields is down. Just a little overzealous, and he did take a shot. You know he's going to come back. This kid keeps on ticking. Pitt has had terrific opportunities to score because of the contributions of Dewan Blair. 
Just exceptional. How about some passing? We had him diving earlier. You help out on the box, move a spot. On the deck, Young delivers, and right here, power, dexterity, and agility, the big fella. Well, a moment ago, is this uh, overly dramatic, or did he get popped? Yeah, I, I think this is typical of this league. Oh, okay. Uh, you know, an aggressive play, good offensive play, as you turn, and feels just taking it right on the chops. There's a toughness about these kids that's extremely impressive on both sides of the floor. Villanova three timeouts left. Double bonus. They've uh, committed 10. Pittsburgh two timeouts. And the Wildcats do have the possession arrow. Young will inbound. Young fields Dixon, Wanamaker, and Blair on the on the court. And Reynolds now a guy that can do some damage at the point of this. They've not got the turnover out of this three-quarter court press. So great preparation by Pitt. Reynolds on fields. Nixon. Wanamaker. Blair wants it. Pena's doing a good job. He may push him. Uh, Blair, you'd be, be a little more physical. Pena's got to make sure he sticks him on the shot. Now Blair comes out, sets the screen. Five on the shot clock. Fields in the corner. Saved by Dixon. Jumper. Yes! Woo! Big time. Fields does the job, whether it's with the shot or the drive. That time the fine. Hit by four. Nice split. Pena splits, yes. Has to adjust in midair, and he's it on the baseline. That's one where maybe Reynolds could have shot that ball. You know, it was a great look, no question about it. Jay Wright calls time for Villanova. And Bert, what you're going to see here is Fields, and it all started with that ball screen. And now they're rotating and catching them flat-footed is field. I mean, just a great look. And Dixon had that little hernia problem in the, or groin problem, I should say, in the first half, stepping up big time with a knockdown jumper off the bounce. That extends the pit lead to four. Dixon's first basket of the game from the field. One of six. Nice is stolen. Oh, Dixon back. And a free throw coming. Why foul and compound it? But that gnawing impact of the pressure of Villanova, they didn't get anything. And at one of the most critical junctures of the game, the trap works. And you should just run out of bounds if your Dixon gives Anderson an opportunity to get three. Villanova perfect at the line tonight. They're now 17 of 17. Oh, what a pulling of the string with the half court trap. They're extending a little more. Here's Dixon. Wanamaker. Hit by one. 240 remaining. And Blair loading up. Great job by Clark this time. Oh, ball on the floor. Young oh, calling down. Got him rattling. Right call. And good pressure defense caused this. And right there, you can see the release. The hands didn't get in there. And the offside assistance, which Villanova is very good, contributed to that walk. Jay Wright replaces Shane Clark. So it's going to be Reynolds and Fisher, along with Cunningham, Anderson, and Redding. And a chance for the Wildcats to reclaim the lead. This is Redding, guarded by Fields. Nice bag. Cut. Got it! What penetration! And then the great read dive into the rim. Fisher's first field goal. See the footnote, Villanova with 14 wins. As a lower-seeded team, that is the most ever. There are three playing a one tonight. And getting into this area is something Villanova's done beautifully. And then the ability to read it and the protection. You know, Blair doesn't want to get that foul. Just terrific organization in the half court. Dixon. Oh, whoa. And ouch. Ouch. 
Oh, what a tough play in the right spot. I believe that's number four. It is four on Redding. And it's going to send LeVance Fields to the free throw line. See that Villanova has two timeouts remaining and the possession arrow. Pittsburgh only one remaining. And Fields at the line for the first time tonight. Shoots two, a chance to give Pitt the lead. And both these teams have guys on the floor that can run the show. So if they're getting late and no timeouts left, they've got great leadership in the backcourt. That's key. To break the tie. Hit by one. It's a great leader, isn't he, Bird? Uh, whatever you need. Well, I saw a couple of references after their victory the other night. Survive in Levant. Yes, yeah, great comment. Fisher. Anderson. Yes! In the corner, Sam Young for three. And look at the attack by Blair. Got it back. Wanamaker. He doesn't give up. He's relentless, the big fella. Here's Young again. Blair, whoa. He walked. He walked. That's right. And the tough angle of the delivery was by great interior defense. Sensational. The angle here, you can see Cunningham with a little body bump in a legal fashion. You can see the puppies were jarred, causing the walk. 1-10 remaining, Villanova by two. Corey Fisher has the ball in his hands. Scotty Reynolds, right side. Fisher, a yeah. maker. It's on the court. Villanova. Possession arrow. And that's what happens once in a while with Fisher. I love him because he gets into the lane and creates, but he'll get a little too deep without an option or a decision. Right here, a lot of that. This is the freedom, too. He's a terrific player. He's going to even be better the next year. Uh, fortunately, they have the possession arrow. Reading inbounds. Nice play by Cunningham just to get it. And the Blair was there defending. 50 seconds to go. This is where Scotty can be tough, too. He fouled. The combination of point guards is so tough coming down the stretch. All game it is, but you can play Reynolds off the ball. If you don't stop this penetration, and as he comes back, he had a little trouble with the dribble. Wanamaker and just stuck the left hand to get the attention and a chance to go to the free throw line. Fisher. Excellent free throw shooter. 78% for the year, three of three tonight. And Villanova has excelled at the free throw line. They're perfect, 17 of 17. And out for Pitt. Now you got to be alert. Either team, whether it's a miss, you got to react if you're Villanova. You're thinking of slapping it back, and of course, squeeze it and rebound it if you're Pitt. Nineteen of nineteen at the free throw stripe for Villanova, at a four-point margin with 46.5 to go. Just need the two. Go to the rim. That's for three. It was good. How about that? And Fields finds Young. The holy triumvirate. If it's not Blair, Young, it's Fields with a terrific assist. Get the puppies organized. He only needed a two. Sam wants three. Pittsburgh out of timeouts. Villanova still has a couple. Pittsburgh does have the possession arrow. Levance Fields. Well, 
17 years ago tonight at the Spectrum in Philadelphia, Duke beat Kentucky 104-103. They say that's the best game ever. I'm not putting this one in that category, but it's a cousin. It, it's, it's terrific. And the full court pressure for the first time by Pitt. A lot of handlers out there. Fisher and a giveaway. Wanamaker from behind. A lot of guys that can make plays, which is what makes it tough to guard Villanova. And they were going to go for it there, too. That's the 10th team foul, so Fisher will shoot two. He's 5 of 5. If this is successful, it'll be 20 out of 20 tonight for Villanova. Kids are tough. They talk about it at the end of games and how you have great years. And kids have ice. You'll be doing everything on the fly now if you're Pitt. And that's why it's great to have a guy like LeVance Fields out there. No timeouts. Three point margin. They're going big on the whistle. This time Clark comes in. And we've got four tenths of a second differential game clock and shot clock. 75. I think 72. I think you pill, my goodness, the three. I thought they'd go for a two. Here's Redding. No call. Tipped out of bounds. They got Wanamaker. Five fouls on Wanamaker. I'm not so sure that deep jack was what Jamie Dixon wanted. Plenty of time. Could have done some damage, get to the rim. Could have lengthened the game. And right here, you can see the shot clock with 30. And you got uh, Blair, could have done some damage on the block as he went down with a little ball reversal. And then the giveaway as they got over half court. Just a tough situation. And right here, the bump by Wanamaker. Mm. Brad Wanamaker fouls out with five. It's a three-point margin with 20 seconds to go. Villanova, a three seed, trying to emulate the magical run of Roly Massimino's Villanova team in 1985 and just make this a footnote. The NCAA record for free throws in a game is Fordham, 22 of 22 against South Carolina in 1971. If Redding makes this, they equal the record. You would. And of course, this is the one now that changes the philosophy, I think. And I would push, if he makes it, push, get the quick deuce, get your defense ready, one steal, nothing, bang, get the foul. Four-point difference. Quick two now. That's what you look at your pit. You want to keep everybody in front of you if you're going over. Blair with the screen. Fields. Oh, they Blair's play Blair. Blair. Goodness, the slip by the big guy. No timeouts left for Pittsburgh. You got to be ready now. Timeout was called by Jay Wright and Villanova. 10.6 to go. Hey, Baron, this, this is unbelievable. Three Villanova guys. Now, they have people on the floor that are unaccustomed maybe to playing the slip guy, but they chase out. No one's at the rim and a quick deuce, and now they got their defense set up on the catch. They're going to front. They're going to play the inbounder. You've got to attempt to steal and then be ready to give it. Ready. He's going deep. deep. What a dangerous play. What a dangerous play. Eight seconds to go. Here's Fields. Block. He's fouled. Fisher was not in position. They went for the home run. And all because of the defensive setup. You can see the leak out here. It's a little too deep. Wow. Oh. And you know this kid, 70% does all the good things for Pitt. He's two of two tonight. And he has a chance to tie the game. Puff. Who, if you're Pitt, 
would you rather have in this position? Uh, nobody. Nobody. Whatsoever. Well, Bill Lowe is going to call a timeout. They're going to set up what they want. We'll take a breath. Well, well Vern, you mentioned uh, no Grand Hill on this one. They ran out of room. They tried the home run and unfortunately ran out of Ran, at, ran to the baseline, kind of him just trying to save it or throw it off the defender. And what a tough situation now. How he, about the risk involved in making oh, that play, trying that play? Unbelievable. And I, the guards had to step and get free, give them a chance. No timeouts left. Fields for the tie with 5.5 remaining. We got plenty of room. Or time, I should say, at least four seconds to get it up the floor. They're in trouble. Reynolds. Oh, oh, they got it! Oh. They got to put three seconds or three tenths or four tenths. They got to put three or four tenths up. Well. The old picket fence kind of play. Cunningham. The post up. There's going to be at least three tenths put back on the clock. But Scotty Reynolds with the foot speed. You knew they were in trouble right in half court. This catch here is what set it up. And look at this opening to one of those kids who just loves to attack the rim. And I think they'll be, well, let's see, maybe one, a half a second, maybe put back on. But just a great setup. The energy of Cunningham to come up with the inbounds catch. I mean, look at what surrounds him. And now off to the races, the little head and shoulder. And how about the protection and the strength with Blair right in front of him? Just extraordinary. Five tenths of a second left. Woo! Scotty Reynolds. Wow. They're just taking a look at it here. Clock stops immediately when it comes through. And they're going to give out five. That's pretty fair. Now you've got a chance. Still in a, a discussion at the scorer's table. And they're asking Ashton Gibbs to come over for some reason. Make oh, sure substitution. He, okay. Yeah. He had not reported. Yep. Well, that's a nice piece of officiating. Now inbounds, they've got Clark on the ball. You want to... A catch and a dribble is the most you can do. Oh! Fields. Boy, this had a chance to. How about that? But Villanova came up. Bryce Drew, that play that they ran a few years ago at Valpo, that came up empty. But Cunningham, just a post up and an effort, and then the alertness. Well, he not only looks good, he knows what he's doing. That guy. Just a great effort, and right here, I knew they were in trouble, but I love the protection, the perseverance. Wow, sticking it right there. I did for Lundqvist. Wow. That's even worth a double order. It was it's, two points. Wow, that kid. The two-point guard mentality prevailed. My goodness. Scotty Reynolds with 15 points, the game winner. How about they make the mistake with the long attempt that goes out of bounds and then Reynolds with a game winner. Greg Gumbel will be back with you. But first, we're going to take these messages.